Hello and welcome to Tensile Ground Coffee, a few minutes on ground engineering to enjoy it while having your coffee. Well, we're back in the Canada Plains, coming to see uh, some platform uh, design method verification testing being done by the experts in big testing, that's the University of Saskatchewan. So we're outside of Saskatoon, we've come out here where we did the testing before. You can see we've built a trench, or not we have, the University of Saskatchewan has built a, a trench here taking off the, uh, the surface deposits down to the uh, near saturated silty clay deposits beneath uh, with uh, low SU values typical, as typically encountered when building uh, working platforms uh, for piling rigs and cranes. So large one meter square plate load tests are going to be carried out several times along this trench on this working platform that's being constructed out of this uh, crushed granite um, uh, aggregate that you see here. You may be able to see at the sides of the trench that it looks uh, a bit of, looks wet. That's the capillary rise of the water. The, uh, the, the moisture content of the subgrade is being monitored and uh, water is being topped up through these uh, access tubes that you see here. This is because uh, the, uh, the, the undrained shear strength is highly sensitive to the moisture content, so we need to keep that under control. So that's being monitored and controlled all the time. But at each test location, because the undrained shear strength can vary, we're taking, um, we're doing CPTs and shear vein tests down through these uh, access tubes here, also measuring uh, the soil moisture. If you look over here, Brian, this is where you see the, um, the reaction frame that's been constructed with the concrete blocks on the top to provide the self weight for the reaction, uh, for the cylinder to react against. So let's go underneath the reaction frame go right under here. Mind your head, Brian, under these. Before I forget, there's the, that's where the CPT is undertaken. It's reacting off the same uh, reaction frame. And there's also a shear vein that's undertaken uh, at every location. And this is the plate, a one meter square plate. A test has just been undertaken here on this uh, aggregate on the uh, Tensar Interax geogrid. So this is what we do at uh, Tensar to validate our design methods. But this is the only university doing this. This is, no one's doing a plate this big all the way to bearing capacity failure. So this test just been undertaken. This isn't the bottom of the plate, that's way below there. You see the punching shear through here and you can see the heave uh, around the ground surface. You can see all the cracking there. This has been taken all the way to bearing capacity failure and beyond. And that's what's needed in order to validate the design method. So, we're going to get out of the way to let them carry on. They've got many more tests to do, all to help validate the T-value method uh, for the design of working platforms. So that's all from this episode of Tensile Ground Coffee. Thanks for watching and see you next time.